Dark Knight's Metal, issue number six. Here we go, ladies and gents. The uh, the end of the Dark Knight's Metal series. Kind of sad to see it end. <laughs> it was like one of the, the biggest things I was looking forward to. So yeah, I guess we can just get right to it. We got this cover right here where we see uh, Batman, Superman, and Wonder Woman, the uh, power trio. Uh, with Batman riding on a Joker dragon, which... Um, unlike a lot of, uh, <laughs> unlike some other comics out there, this event actually happens in the, uh, this moment actually happens in the, in the issue, so, yay, it's not false advertising. The one thing, though, that did kind of, um, bother me a little bit was that the, I thought, like, the, the chimps, the, uh, the monkeys, the cliffhanger from the previous issue i thought they were going to play a bigger part in uh issue number six and they kind of really didn't but um i guess we can get to that when we get to that yeah we get this bendis is coming this just comes across more as like a warning than anything else <laughs> like i don't know like this isn't fill me with joy or anything like that it just fills me with dread like oh god it's, it's good it's coming soon bendis is bendis is coming to ruin superman i i i don't know I know some people out there are willing to give him a chance. I, I have no faith in Bendis whatsoever when it comes to uh, to Superman. When it comes to anything, really. I don't know why DC would roll out the red carpet for him and give him Superman, of all things. Especially, uh, I mean, he, isn't uh, Super Sons basically getting canceled or coming to an end so that Bendis can have all the Superman? Ah. Uh, I don't know. Like I've said this before, but what I would have done is a. I mean, I wouldn't have brought Bendis in in the first place because I find him to be a terrible writer, and uh, I mean, he was one of the people involved in bringing in all the uh, quote unquote milkshake girls into Marvel. I mean, it was him that like hired a bunch of these people, so like I wouldn't want him in my company at all just for the simple fact that I mean, a he's bad, and b I don't want him. I don't want him bringing in anybody that could due to my company what he did to marvel but um yeah like i don't know people keep saying oh you know he, he's he's actually a good writer i'm like no at least not from anything i've seen like his, his writing is pretty terrible especially his dialogue and his characterizations uh and it's like maybe he was great in the past i don't know but what has he done lately and by lately, I mean the past few years, and the answer is nothing. So I don't know why you would roll out the red carpet for him. Um, like I was saying, what I would have done is, A, I wouldn't have hired him in, in the first place, but if I did, I would have given him some, like, C-rank superhero and basically have him prove himself through uh, reviews and through sales. And then if he did really good on both, and I'm not talking about reviews from, like, you know, bleeding cool stuff i'm talking about like fan reviews if he did good on that then i'd bump him to a b-list superhero and basically he would have to work his way up i wouldn't just hand him superman but uh let's forget about that because this isn't the uh, bendis video this is the dark knight's metal yeah we start off with uh barbados is basically free um earth zero has basically starting to fall into the uh dark multiverse we see Barbados kind of, not Barbados, the Batman who uh, who laughs is ripping off bandages of his hostage who uh, we will see who the uh, person is later on. And then we cut to Wonder Woman, who, uh, Wonder Woman and uh, Lady Blackhawk who are kicking the crap out of, uh, yeah, everybody. <laughs> like she's beating up uh, multi, like multiverse versions of herself. Uh, she's fighting against Dark Side. Uh, we get like another version of Superman being bisected in the background. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, basically it's just an all-out battle, and no matter how much they fight, uh, they're not really gaining any ground. It's almost kind of like that whole uh, uh, Hydra thing. You cut off one head, two more appear. But yeah, she basically takes the uh, the mace. Which is used, uh, which is made of uh, ninth metal, and then she uses her 
bracelets which are used for eighth metal and she bangs them together um, sending out a message to um, everybody basically Aquaman, Green Lantern, Deathstroke, Mr. Terrific and basically re reinvigorating them to fight again and uh, Mr. Terrific basically tells Plastic Man you know you gotta wake up we need your help right now so uh yeah Plastic Man <laughs> oh, I love Plastic Man Plastic Man basically wakes up from his uh his egg and uh yeah he just starts killing like the horde uh I thought this was kind of cool he yeah, he's basically he turns part of his body to almost like a wood, wood chipper and he's like throwing people into it <laughs> uh, I wonder how that feels uh, I don't think I want to know Diana Wonder Woman Kendra fly past the horde and um, they get near the the source where uh, they see Barbados and uh, Diana basically jumps jumps into the, the source the portal the whatever you want to call it um using her lasso kind of as a as a tether um and down there she meets um oh damn that was his face hawkman i think it's this is dark hawkman basically carter hall who has um fallen to the dark side yeah basically using kendra and the lace they kind of basically they, they try to get carter to um renounce the dark side <laughs> this sounds like something straight out of star wars he kind of starts doing that barbado starts weakening a little bit and then all of a sudden um oh, what's his face uh cyborg raven and uh who the hell was this other girl flash why the hell did i say girl <laughs> uh looking at it for a moment i was like is that batwoman no that's flash yeah, Cyborg, Raven, and Flash, uh, who is a man. <laughs> uh, they arrive with a ship, and they arrive with um, different universe versions of Batman, and uh, including like the Earth-52 Batman, which I'm not familiar with at all. Like, I didn't read 52. I, I got into comic books like basically when Rebirth was starting. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much my knowledge of of DC minus the few cartoons that I watched as a kid. And then yeah, we get we get a couple of the monkeys and yay, I, I make an appearance right here. Here's me, here's this pirate monkey. <laughs> uh I wanna know who the hell this pirate monkey guy is. I, I wanna see if there's more stuff of him. Cause you know, as you can kinda guess by my name, I like monkeys and I like pirates. And you put them together and uh yeah. I want to see it. <laughs> so yeah, let's skip some stuff. Yeah, basically, basically we're gonna just skip. Uh, there's some fights with Barbados, and then um, Superman, Batman, and Wonder Woman come out from not the darkness, but I guess the light, uh, wearing armor, not made by metal from the forge, but made from the actual forge, the uh, tenth metal. So it's metal coming directly from the forge of worlds. They're about to fight Barbados when Barbados destroys the uh, the ship that Cyborg and all of them are on. Um, the ship that was going to basically... Um, they were almost going to use the ship almost like a tuning fork. But uh, yeah, it, got, it gets destroyed. So now they have to come up with another plan. And yeah, here's where we get the scene where... Uh, <laughs> we get like a kind of funny moment where Superman's like, Batman, if you climb on my back, I can fly you too. And Batman's like, uh, nah, I got this. And he... He breaks the uh, Joker Dragon's nose and then uses it to, to fly. <laughs> yeah, I, I always find it funny when Batman rides on Superman's back. There's that one uh, funny uh, artwork where it just like it shows like Superman flying and he's like super happy, and then it shows like Batman like sitting on his back with his arms crossed and he's like all oh, like sullen. <laughs> he's just like upset. He's like, Ugh, I don't want to do this. <laughs> I don't know, I always found that kind of funny. Quick, Batman, get on my back. So yeah, basically, uh, other characters, the other Justice League members, get part of the Tenth uh, Metal, and then they beat the uh, they beat the Dark Knights. To I'm not sure if you guys heard that. That was my dog. Um, they beat the Dark Knights to death, basically, uh, and then they go and they save the uh, Teen Titans and Young Justice and Steel and 
basically all the other uh, superheroes and villains and stuff like that that were um, enslaved, like caught in the uh, the thing by Barbados, uh, the thing that was like you know feeding off their their fears and darkness and all that stuff, and yeah, um, uh, Batman who laughs rips off the bandages, and it turns out that the uh, the um, hostage is the over monitor who i don't know who he is um from this issue they're basically saying that he's like recovering from the last multiverse crisis uh which i believe was flashpoint so i think he had like a big part in flashpoint but i i'll be honest with you guys i didn't read flashpoint like i, like I said I, I came in from rebirth so anything pre-rebirth i'm just I know a little bit of Flashpoint, like Flash basically goes back in time or whatever, and he like almost like shatters the universe. And then um, I know there's like one universe where um, Batman is really Thomas Wayne and the Joker is Martha Wayne. And basically it was uh, Bruce who died in the alleyway rather than them. So I know, I know, I know like about that, but that's kind of as far as my Flashpoint knowledge goes. But yeah, I'm sure it's, it's like some kind of big deal to the actual actual dc like readers but i i'm i'm sorry like this reveal didn't really do much because I, I don't know who he is uh maybe you know someone in the comments can explain but uh yeah batman arrives and um he's going to fight the batman who laughs he destroys the uh the robin joker crow guys and then he starts fighting uh batman who laughs and um basically they're somewhat even because, I mean, they're literally the same person, just, you know, two people who, who basically went different directions, that, uh, you know, who basically hit a, a turning point, and one went one way, the other went the other way, but they're the same people, so they're, they're, they 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 know each other's moves, except the Batman who laughs still carries the, uh, the gun that was used to kill his parents, and he uses it, he has no problem using it to, to kill people, so he uses it to shoot Batman and wound him, and then he's about to kill Batman when, um... Batman basically says, like, you know, uh, you're me. You you would know everything that I would come up with in this fight. So I got to do the one thing that you would never expect me to do. And that's to uh, team up with Joker. <laughs> so uh, we, get, we get Batman and Joker taking on the Batman who laughs. Uh, I'm going to skip a few pages. Basically, we all, it's just pages of, like, fight scenes and stuff like that. Um there's a pretty cool scene. I will show it where uh, Joker slices off the Batman who's last fingers. Um, I thought that was kind of cool. Outside, yeah, the um, Justice League members armed with the uh, the tenth metal um, kill the uh, the Dark Knights. They basically yeah beat up the rest of the the Dark Knights that are still around. Diana throws a spiked bracelet, which is also made of the uh, the tenth metal. She she. Uh, Throws it to um, Lady Blackhawk, who puts it on and then uses it to um, dive bomb through uh, Barbados' chest. And then while he is, um, while Barbados is down on the ground, Over Monitor basically says, uh, like, you guys don't need the, the antenna to raise the earth back up, um, since, like, every living being has traces trace amounts of the tenth metal in them. Um, you can just... You can use that as your your spark, as your, your your tuning fork, basically, to connect everybody together and basically reveal, you know, a path out of the darkness and raise up the planet. So yeah, we kind of get this. Uh, <laughs> we kind of get something like almost straight out of an anime. Uh, it reminds me a little bit of the Dragon Ball Z uh, spirit bomb, where they're like, you know, everybody hear my voice we got a band together uh you know we must all band as one to defeat the darkness within us and blah 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 it's like it's kind of hokey <laughs> like i was just kind of like uh, okay so yeah they basically do that to uh raise earth i guess out of the darkness and defeat barbados and yeah that's that's how they that's how they fight off the uh the evil it's they everyone you know, sends their life force <laughs> together as one, uh, basically. Uh, yeah, and then we get we get a party at Bruce's uh, manor, and uh, 
everybody's having fun, blah, blah, blah. We kind of get setups for the uh, Immortal Men, setups for the Terrifics, setups for the, um, I think it's the New Age of Heroes. I believe that's what DC is calling it. But yeah, basically getting set up for, for, for like their spinoff series. Bruce kind of tells um, Wonder Woman and Superman that he needs to talk to them alone. And basically he tells them that uh, while the, the power that was used to defeat Barbados like put everything in its proper place and destroyed Barbados's power. It also reached the um, the the limit of the multiverse, like the 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 edge of the multiverse, which they call it the source wall. It reached that and it shattered it, basically meaning that all the universes, all the things that are outside of the multiverse, now can invade the multiverse. So now. Um, now they have to prepare for forces that they've never dealt with before with forces beyond the multiverse and i was like oh, okay that, that now that's a pretty sweet way to end this but yeah that's uh that's the end of the the dark knight's metal uh i thought it was kind of cool like i not only did i love the uh, the actual story throughout but the way that they ended it made it actually matter <laughs> like it's not like um what was uh, Marvel's crap event from uh, Secret Empire? It's not like Secret Empire where it's like afterwards they're like, all right, you know, everyone hated this. So let's just like have one guy barf up a piece and then we're going to rewrite. You know, basically we're going to erase everything that just happened and pretend that it never existed. So there was like an event that had no consequences. Uh, again, I'm sorry for that. My, my dog, um, I have two. And this one, she she cannot be by herself at all. Like, you can't leave her alone for, for even a little bit. Otherwise, she, she starts crying. Like, she has to be near somebody. She has, like, abandonment issues. <laughs> oh, she looks so goofy right now. But she's sleeping on the... Uh... Actually, you know what? I'm, I'm going to take a picture. And I'm going to post it up in this video so you guys... You guys can see what she, what she looks like. But yeah, she's basically... <laughs> she's, she's sleeping on the couch right behind me. And she, uh, she snores really, really loud. Like, she has a really... Yeah. So, uh... You guys are probably going to hear that throughout this, or at least at certain parts. So I'm sorry for that, but uh, but yeah, I'm not. I mean, the only thing I can do is I can kick her out, but I don't want to wake her up, and I don't want to kick her out because that's just mean. And then she's just going to be spending like her time outside the, the room, scratching at the door and whining because she wants to be in because she can't be by herself. But um, as I was saying, uh, I liked how not only was the story awesome, and it just I mean, it introduced a lot of like, cool new characters, the Dark Knights and all that stuff. Um, not only was like the story great and like everyone, everyone had like a little part in it. Everyone had like, a little part in it. Everyone kind of came across pretty cool. Like, I'm not a fan of Batman, but I mean, Batman can't even came across the coolest at points. Um, I find Wonder Woman boring, but even she came across as a badass at at, at points, um, which I've talked about in previous videos. Like, everything about this I thought was really cool. Um, and just the fact that everything matters. Like, this event actually led to something. Because at the end, you got all the setups for, like, you know, the Terrifics, the Immortal Men, um, all the other... Uh, there's um, basically the, the New Age of Heroes. Like, you got Sideways, you got Brimstone, which hasn't come out yet. But I'm really looking forward to that. Because it's supposed to be, like, uh, DC's answer to Ghost Rider. And I'm a huge fan of Ghost Rider. So, uh yeah um like so it, it introduced you know new characters it introduced uh it reintroduced old characters plastic man again the terrifics um it's also i mean now the 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 wall i also like how it connected everything it connected you know flashpoint and new 52 to uh to rebirth and also um the, it shattered the the source wall of the multiverse. So now now you're gonna get new new things, new creatures, new characters um, from beyond the multiverse, and that just leaves me like intrigued. I use that word a lot. It leaves me like like I'm I'm really like fascinated to see like what what what's beyond the source wall. What what are we gonna see? So yeah, like love the series great end to it basically that, that that whole epilogue about the just basically 
Batman's talking about the source wall being shattered and now the uh, things from beyond the multiverse are going to come. And uh, yeah, Batman's like, um, oh, I didn't even mention this. Batman is basically talking about how uh, he has plans on how to fight it. And then we see blueprint, blueprints for the uh, the Hall of Justice and stuff, um, which I thought was kind of cool. I love this uh, this series, this, and I'm I'm sad to see it end, but it ended on a really awesome, cool note. Um, great issue. I did think the uh, the whole like everyone combined together and used your light to defeat the darkness was kind of cheesy, but uh, yeah, that basically the the, the it, it, I mean I. How else are you going to get... I mean, we did get a fight with Barbados and stuff like that. So I guess it wasn't just that. But that, that was a little hokey. <laughs> but yeah, the, the epilogue is like what really sold this issue on me. But um, yeah, that's that's the end. What, what do you guys think? How have you... Uh, I know like Dark Knight seemed to be one of those where... Um, I know a couple people like either you really hate it or you really love it. And it seems like a lot more people seem to fall on the love it aspect. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of interested to hear what you guys think. Um, and, uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. You know what? I need to start doing this more. Um, I need to start putting in plugs. I don't do it a lot because I always feel kind of weird, but I'm just going to, I guess I'll just start doing it. I have uh, a PayPal if you guys want to do like a one-time donation. I have, um, a Patreon if you guys want to do that. I didn't really, I need to update the Patreon and like actually do like a video for it or something, but I have that. If you guys want, I have a uh, BitChute and I have Mines account. You guys can find those in the links below. Any any, any money, any, any of that stuff that, that I get goes straight into basically the channel. So try to, you know, get comics and things like that. Um, if you guys do sign up for the for the Patreon or the uh, if you guys do a PayPal donation, feel free to leave like a recommendation for a comic. It can even be something terrible. Like uh, you can even recommend like America Chavez or something, and then I will review it. I also I stream a lot. Um, I streamed a, like twice, a couple times on my YouTube channel, but I mostly stream on Twitch. Um, if you guys want to like you know see, drop by and see that, you guys don't even have to. You guys can uh, if you guys want to like subscribe to my Twitch uh, account. You guys can do that, and you'll get some lovely emotes made by uh, the awesome Nerd Wonder. So you guys can do that, that, which will also support the channel. But you guys don't even have to do that. Um, if you guys just want to just drop in while I'm streaming, uh, just say hi, just talk to me, whatever, you know, hang out. That would be awesome. I stream basically every Monday through Friday at 2 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. I always feel weird asking people for money. Like, I don't want to do that, um, which is why like, I never advertise my stuff. But, I mean, it's there. But all I want is just just if you guys haven't sub, um you know subscribe to the, to the youtube channel give a follow to twitch share this with other people that that's it just you know just or just just leave, leave a comment you, even just something like that like, would be completely you know will mean a lot to me and i highly appreciate it so just any help you guys can get just getting you know the uh the word out on this channel give it a like you know subscribe uh to the youtube channel hit the bell for a notification um when i tweet out like every time when i upload a video i always have a tweet out maybe retweet that send that to friends family members anyone who's interested just kind of help the channel grow a little bit if you guys can i mean that that would be really appreciated but um yeah i'm, I'm starting to ramble um but yeah that was uh, dark knights issue number six great way to uh end the events really really love the epilogue like that that whole reveal was just wow <laughs> um so yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope to see you guys next time later